my ultimate goal for you as a deer hunter is to find deer. When it comes to public land, what I do even before I leave the house is I mark the perimeter of each public land area. What I mean by that is I mark all of the public land access. Is I go on Onyx or my computer and I zoom in really close to satellite on these satellite maps and I mark every single parking lot or access. Then I verify that by driving around the public land. For example, I mark it on my phone and then look at that. There's a parking lot that you can go to as a public land hunter. What I do then is I go back to my computer or my phone and I look at the satellite maps and I try to figure out where people are not going based on where the access is for public land hunters. There's a lot of public land that people can just pull off to the side of the road in their truck and walk in on, I get it, but most people don't do that. Most people want more of a secure area to hunt. Well, look over there, another public land spot, just a little place to park your car. So after I mar mark all these on my phone or on my computer, usually my computer because I can see more, I like using Onyx on my computer more than my phone. I mark all the parking locations, I drive around to make sure that they're there. It doesn't take that long, you know, 10-15 minutes to drive most public parking areas or whatever to find the parking areas. Sometimes it's a bridge, sometimes it's a little cul-de-sac, sometimes it's an actual parking lot where you have like blacktop and stuff, usually not though. And then I go back and look at the map on my computer and I start kind of like crossing off areas that I think people are going to go based on public land access. Most people are not going to walk that far or work that hard to shoot deer. Most people in Wisconsin shoot deer with a gun, they don't bow hunt, nothing wrong with that. But most people hunt like opening weekend of gun season and that's it. And so what you're dealing with is the majority of people. You're trying to make sure that the majority of people are not hunting where you are. Now people like you or me, you can't avoid that. You're going to see those people way back in the middle of nowhere. The people that are going to go and work really hard to find success and to hunt. And so once you, you know, kind of get over the idea that you can get past where most of the people are hunting, you're going to be successful by not seeing people. If you're not seeing people, you're going to most likely see deer for the most part. Mark every single location for that one public hunting land area. Mark every single one. Doesn't matter if you're going to use it or not. You might think, well, I remember where all of them are. No, probably not. And then go back and look at your computer and try to figure out where people are not going based on public access. If it's a square, like a section, and you're looking at that and you're like, wow, there's public access on all four sides. There's a road around the entire public hunting area. Well, chances are that's not really a good place to hunt or deer are going to be right next to the parking lot where people aren't going because it's an overlooked area or they're going to be right in the middle of that public hunting area. You have to go where people aren't willing to walk. It could mean crossing a body of water, but ultimately by knowing where people are parking their vehicles and accessing this land, that's going to give you a huge advantage because there's a really good chance that people that are hunting in that area or on that public land, they're not doing that. They're going to the same parking lot each time. They're walking down the same main trail. They're not figuring out where other people are going or not. Sometimes what I do is I'll park in the main parking lot. I'll walk down the road like a 40 or an 80 or whatever. Then I cut into the woods because I know most people aren't doing that. That gives me an advantage as well. And I start seeing more deer because of that. I've got my phone. I'm going down this road. Onyx is on. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to look for public land access on this side of the road over here. And there's a couple sections that are private, a couple that are public. So I look at my phone to see where I'm at as I'm driving down this road. Once I get to a public land section and there's a little parking area, at least big enough for one vehicle, I'm going to mark that on my phone immediately so I know where other people are accessing this land over here. A lot of times these roads and they'll pop out of nowhere. All of a sudden you're driving down, it's like, boom, there one is. All right, so I noticed a little strip of public land, not a little strip, but a little section of public land that was in between private land that leads back to more public land and kind of opens up once you get past a couple 40s of people that live out here. It's right there. That's a public land access right there. I don't know how far that road goes. I've never been here before. I'm using this as an example to you, but this is something you mark on your phone when you go past it, either on Google Maps or whatever you use. I'm gonna mark this, I've never seen this before. I've never even been down this road, tell you the truth. This has private land over there, 
private land over there but once you get back there a ways it opens up to a lot of public land and this is the access point right here now once you get in there I can tell there's a little bit of room back there for a couple vehicles not many somebody must have driven in there recently you can see the tracks in the snow but that's an area you want to keep in mind if you're looking for public areas to hunt now I can use that as a future reference if I need to what I do is I mark all my parking areas in light blue color the icon on onyx all my deer hunting stuff for me is in brown deer sign like scrapes and rubs all of the human stuff that I find like I'll find a cell cam I'll find an illegal tree stand up in the woods whatever I mark that in red so I know to avoid that area on public land in the future um, each color has its own thing whenever there is a turn in the woods that I need to pay attention to and take either walking to my stand or out from my stand location I mark that in yellow so I know hey I can't keep walking here I need to turn uh, to get back to the vehicle so I've got my own system that works for me it helps me keep everything organized so that I don't have to spend a whole bunch of time going out into the woods playing around on my phone I can focus more on what I'm there to do in the first place so the next tip I'm going to share with you that's made a huge difference in my success as a hunter as far as seeing way more deer cross a creek you can cross a creek like this easily with plain rubber boots. I don't know what it is, but around here where I hunt, so many people will not cross creeks. The creek can be two feet wide, a tiny little creek you can step over, they won't do it. They stay on the other side, on the side where they park their vehicle. Now that really doesn't bother me very much because it actually gives me the advantage knowing that I can go on the other side and probably have more success than the other people hunting that public area. However, if you're a person that doesn't want to cross water, I highly suggest you do it. Just buy some cheap rubber boots, you don't need anything fancy to do it, and jump across or walk through depending on the size of the creek you're going to cross. Something to keep in mind as you look at creeks, you need to understand what's on the other side. And I don't mean deer or deer sign, you can figure that out when you scout. Is there another park Parking area on the other side where people are accessing. For example, if you have parking on one side of the public land, parking on the other, creek in the middle, it doesn't do any good to cross the creek because people are just going to be hunting on the other side. So you worked a little harder to get across just to find there's more human sign over there. You need to make sure the creek is preventing people from getting to where most of the deer are located. I've crossed creeks before and I'm like, oh yeah, I figured it out. I've got a really good hunting spot and then I go over there and I see somebody wearing orange during gun season. It's like, ugh, because I wasn't actually scouting the area on the other side looking for human access. So find a small creek, little creek like this, I mean, if I got a running start, I could almost jump across. Of course, I wouldn't do that now in winter with ice, but this is not deep at all. It's about eight inches deep, widens out here. I can easily walk across here. I've done it several times, and that's a really good way to see more deer and less people. <laughs> 